Um, okay, here we go. Um, okay, good. Okay, good. I got everything's good. Sorry, I'm just I'm learning my way for doing it. Um, okay, so we're gonna try to give you a balance. We're gonna get going, but we're not gonna go overboard on too much of the science. There is something called a live stream called um, like it's it's about I think it's we have a coupon code, so I think it's like a thirty nine dollar range or forget the actual cost, but it's normally forty nine. We have a coupon code for like a little bit like ten dollars off. You can still watch it through October twenty first. So if you are really intrigued and you can't find some of these talks that we're talking gonna go over on YouTube then I will recommend that maybe you get the live stream because it's really excellent. And if there's just one talk that you want to watch, talk with us afterwards because maybe we can help you log into our account so you could, that whoever bought it, we can share it with you. We're gonna try to keep it really well balanced um, so it doesn't get overwhelmed. So one of the things that doTERRA started and um, is the something, they're helping 55 and more communities already in their um, in their endeavors. So 2018, they really opened the eyes as far as like how wellness advocates are really making a difference. Um, it's not just us though, we're providing for um, families all over the world. Um, so when you pro like buy products from doTERRA, it's not just something that's part of like a side thing to give back to the communities where we source our oils. It's actually the main thing. That is one of doTERRA's main uh, visions is to inspire and uplift all the communities that they interact with. Um, so let me just give you an example. Cardamom essential oil that we get from Guatemala. Um, one of the things they do when they move into a, a co-impact sourcing and they move to, to source an oil in a new area, they meet with the leaders of that area to find out what the needs are. So in Guatemala, it was job training. They need jobs in a big way. So doTERRA um, funded and, and built a job training center. Um, and so we also not only source our oils and help them and empower the farmers, we also help the entire community where we source our oils. But not only that, just by doing cardamom alone, we provided 1,045 jobs to, to the Guatemalans and at least for the benefit of about 5,016 others in that same community because it's not just the worker, it's their whole family and their family unit that's benefited from that job. So 5,000 um, people were impacted. So that's just a couple of examples. Um, Jennifer or um, Shelly, did anyone want to share anything about frankincense or any other things that they wanted to share a little bit about that? Well, as Emily Wright says, co-impact sourcing is all about the individual and their well-being and not mm. just Individual, but their family and their well-being. So with frankincense, they have provided 36,837 jobs to those people in Somalia, which has impacted the lives of over 211,000 people. Mm -hmm. Just alone, frankincense. Just it is. awesome to see. Yep. Frankincense is amazing because in the world, you're going to start hearing a shortage of frankincense coming up. But doTERRA already has been working with conservationists and have been planning for that and been have, have a, a stockpile that they have been saving and working with the people, giving them women jobs as well as their kids could go to school and they've built a medical facility. So their first time they're getting medical care in that whole area where they source our oils. So I love that about that company. All right. So now, on the piggyback is this, this is their actual charitable wing, so to speak, of doTERRA. Um, and Jennifer, feel free, I know you have a passion for um, healing hands, but um, they have a new website, so it's a little more friendly looking. Um, and there's a, a YouTube video that I put in our Facebook group, and I'll probably put in the email when I mail out this recording tomorrow, um, but I'll put the link there about healing hands. And I just want you to know that um, they're it's a very generous program. Um, did you wanna share about um, anything about that, Jennifer or Shelly, about, I don't wanna keep you from. Jennifer, did you do stuff with it? Um, not the healing hands yet. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, I just had in the back of my mind um, from convention, it goes back to your previous one on the, uh, the co-impact source thing where they actually had a special guest. Um, uh, give recognition for one of the farmers who was um, involved with the pink pepper harvesting in Kenya mm -hmm. um, in the project there helping to pull some vulnerable, vulnerable women out of um, 
a situation where um, they were able to learn the farming techniques for the pink pepper and, um, and get fees to help uh, get their children back and return them to school. So it, it was just a very inspiring story of empowerment and the healing hands. Of sh it's the same mission. It's a global mission. Um, and I do identify with the mission that I uh, hopefully get one of my projects on board with the healing hands. <laughs> Yes, yeah, Healing Hands, each time we have convention, the Healing Hands does something for convention. This year they were making pillowcases. I can't remember what all it was for, but they were doing a bunch with pillowcases. They usually do a lot of for days for girls. So women in other cultures are actually relegated to like a house when they have their period and they don't understand feminine care, menstrual care. So a lot of times they sit on cardboard and they miss out on school and they don't understand how their bodies work and they feel shame. So days for girls, doTERRA is one of the major fund funding uh, sources for that. And so that's really key about um, helping women understand their menstrual cycle, but they actually give them, we made last year, menstrual bags with reusable washable pads and then they were able to this now they teach them they give them the patterns and the girls can make it themselves um and so it's a wonderful experience there's so much more healing hands we could say a lot more but we'll go on from here for now but um one thing about doTERRA is that sometimes companies you might think oh are they struggling doTERRA keeps growing and they're growing in areas that are really um quite you know wonderful for instance um, opening up a facility in Russia. Russia is now going to be open. The United Kingdom, um, they have a medical complex, uh, daycare, manufacturing extension. This is all for their local area, their, their local place in Utah, which is over in the U.S. or over there, that little dot. Oh, do I have a, I think I actually can like make little fun things like a pointer. Oh, look, isn't this fun? I'm going to have fun now. Okay, so there you go. That's Utah. And so, oh boy, I'm getting too much fun. Sorry about that. Um, and so what's nice is, is, there is they're expanding their facility distribution center. They're going to be able to do a lot more faster. And now we also know that there's distribution centers in Atlanta. So I hear that there were some problems with some people getting their kits on time, convention kits. And some of it was like they got the mouthwash, but not the kit. So there might have been some, sometimes that doesn't normally happen, but they normally we get shipped from Atlanta, but they're all over. There's a couple places in the U.S., but they're look at where they're expanding. So Philip, the Philippines now is actually open for uh, business of doTERRA. Let me see if I can move this to the side. But these are the actual doTERRA offices. I think Philippines is coming 2019. Brazil just opened up. Um, I hear India is opening up in 2020 and many other companies. So uh, people, in the, if you have friends and family um, in Canada as well, these are just offices. doTERRA is in Canada and all over in Australia, but they're just official offices that they're opening up. So that's kind of exciting. But um, if you do have friends or family in other parts of the country, they can order doTERRA. Just talk with us. It's called Global Access Country. So um, the way you find out is when you go log in to become a new member, it usually says USA. You can choose your country and you can see if your country is there, if you have a friend that's um, abroad. Okay, let me go to the next one. I'm not sure why my cursor's not working. Let's see. Okay, there we go. So this is weird. You might think, why is doTERRA doing health clinics? So what they have done and they announced last year is one of their uh, missions for doTERRA is to disrupt in a good way, disrupt the current way we do healthcare, which is very reactive instead of proactive. So, mm. um, 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 Shelly or Jennifer, did you guys want to read a little bit more about that? Um, the mo their model that they're rolling out now is really, I think, tar it, it's targets like primary care, like direct care with your primary care. Okay. It's cutting out the insurance and it's making care more accessible and affordable. And it looks like on the slide you have here um, in developing this comprehensive wellness plan, it's really tailored to the patient and empowering them in the process and with their goals and their needs. And, and they can, if the clinics don't understand, they can integrate the essential oils into these plans too, which is great. Right, yeah. many of the doctors that they have are DOs. Doctor, okay. Doctor, right. So they also, they will lick, look at different things like chiropractic and acupuncture and nutrition, essential oils. So it's been very nice knowing them. There are three locations they're going to be at um, in the U.S. One of them is in Utah at this point in Pleasant Grove. They are building a clinic, literally building the clinic there. So they already have a clinic opened, but they are building a brand new building for this clinic, for a new clinic. 
and they have another one in St. George, Utah, one in Phoenix, Arizona that they're working on, and in Nashville, Tennessee, they are working on. So we have some people in Nashville that will be on here later on just to be able to see. So it's exciting to see that they have doctors in each one of these places already. Yes, very exciting. And from what I understand, I think the doctors, I don't know how it's set up, but they are getting reimbursed, but somehow it's between the patients and doctors. And like I said, they're cutting out the middleman, which I think is the biggest barrier, at least outside of their system, um, accessing care and somebody else calling the shots. So this is, I'm, I'm really excited to see this. Like, yes. I think it's great. It's always good to have openings. And as you know, even among our regular medical friends that I know, they know that telemedicine is all the wave of the future now, even for regular doctors, not even talking about natural health clinics, but people are wanting that more as costs in the face of healthcare does change. Okay, so now we're at the favorite part. We love it. Oh, my daughter took it to school. It's in her backpack way over there. So just, you can see the pictures. You don't have to see me smelling it for me to just tell you about it. Um, um, so let me just tell you a little bit what's great about it. Um, so basically when it comes to kids, but honestly, I sit there and I use these oils. They're not weak in that sense. They're really lovely, but there's um, sometimes people get confused about all the different blends and how to make your own blend or how to dilute properly for kids. So this is already done for you, but it's still potent enough for, I think, adults. Um, so it's designed actually though to help kids know how to support their mind, their body, and their heart. And so these pre-diluted ones, they come with flashcards um, and just, I, they're just wonderful. And I'll tell you why, because my daughter took it to school and she wasn't feeling well and she knew what oils to pull out. She knew, she's like, I'm used stronger all day and I felt better today. And so, um, and then the kids know, like she hurt her arm and she gra grabbed rescue. We'll talk about that in a second. She grabbed another oil. The kids can really know how to care for themselves and empower them. So I think that's really important for kids to look at the whole child. And I think that was the approach this time. So let's break it down. Um, okay. So this is the brain one. You'll see that you don't see the picture on the card right now, but there's a picture that's going to have a brain, like it looks like a, like a, like a brain. And basically it's just letting the kids know this is going to help calm your brain for sleep or think when you want to focus. So focus has a really lovely blend of vetiver, um, peppermint, clementine, um, and rosemary. Um, and by the way, clementine is an oil that we don't have access to except for this special this month, which I'll talk about later. So just keep that in mind. They got clementine in this blend. And rosemary has been studied multiple times for helping with focus and mostly with memory recall. So they've studied college students and other people that end with inhaling rosemary they increase their retention of their member of of the material that they were studying so the rosemary is well studied and vetiver also has been studied for um the issues with uh kids that may are adults that may have that may be bouncing squirrel like around like you know what i'm talking about um vetiver is one of those oils too that has been um helpful for that as well as peppermint incredibly helpful they've been studied when they diffuse peppermint actually math scores have been increased um, and we heard that at a speaker, Shelly and I heard um, a PhD in education. She gave us a talk on that and talked about how they use essential oils in the classroom. So, um, and then citrus oils are very uplifting. So I love it because it's not too strong vetiver. It's a beautiful aroma. And I use it also when we have to focus. So um, if anyone else has a story with any of these oils, please feel free to interrupt me. The next one is called Calmer. Um, let's see if I can move the things to the side. So I don't, they're really great. It's like their version of serenity. So calmer is, has all the things, Buddha wood, lavender, kanaga, Roman chamomile, very, very calming. Um, as you can see, the look at the price, under $20 for this. Um, that way, you know, and under $16, it's very affordable to re replenish as well as gifts. Um, I think it's a really great thing and kids will really know what to do. They, and it tells them on the card exactly where to apply it. Oops. Any questions or um, any stories, feel free to interrupt. Okay, so the next one is um, Stronger and Rescuer. So this is gonna have the body. There's one like a, like a stick figure, like a straw man that's on the cards. So they know that this is for their body. So my daughter knew that the protective blend, which is similar to On Guard, but very gentle, um, is what she used all day at school when she wasn't feeling her best. However, it's also good for skin irritations also. So, you know, like little scrapes. 
It's cedar wood, also studied for focus and squirrel-like issues with boys. Um, cedar wood is wonderful. Uh, Litsia, which um, is similar to Melissa, very calming and uplifting to the emotions. Frankincense, we know, is very grounding. And then rose is lovely, very soothing, also um, soothing to the body and to the mind. So that's a great one. And I look at the price on this. It smells delightful. Um, and it's a very great, I just love that the price points are such that it's a really wonderful way to um, help kids. And if they lose one, it's not the end of the world. Like they didn't lose my in tune, okay? So the soothing blend is like their kid's version of, unmute yourself and tell me, what do you think, um, or put in the chat, what do you think Rescuer is, the soothing blend? Deep blue. Deep blue, yay! This is the little kids' version of deep blue. It's copaiba, which is amazing and gentle for oh, the wow. skin. I love it for pain. I use it all the time, right straight on my hand. I always dilute, but with copaiba on my hands, I just don't. I'll put a drop right here and I rub it in. Um, it is considered an oil. You could use neat. Of course, I always encourage everyone to dilute and make sure oils go last longer. But that copaiba will take away this pain that I get along my ligaments. It's just very, very relaxing to that area. So they have that, they have lavender, spearmint, and xanthoxylum and a base of fractionated coconut oil. Um, it's lovely. So um, any other thing, anyone has used that yet? They wanna share a little story if anyone's had um, anything with that. So this is like bumps and bruises. Um, so my daughter got scratched by the dog and she just grabbed the blue rest and she's like, wow, after a mission, that really works. She goes, let's take some pictures. This really works. And she wanted to do like a little fun thing, taking pictures of the dog. She's so cute. So, um, and she wouldn't have said that if it didn't work. So I really like the fact that they're not just, they're not weak. They're just dilute, which doesn't take away the potency. All right. I have a testimony. Sure, please talk. I used, I had a Charlie horse and I used a drop of deep blue on the, where it was cramping up and it instantly stopped. Oh, wow. I love that. Thank you for sharing that. It's amazing how beautiful and quickly these oils work. Thank you for sharing that. All right. Um, next one. Okay, here we go. Steady and braid. Um, so grounding blend. Have you guys know what oil we have, the adult version? That it's not really, it can be used for kids too, but it's our called, also called grounding blend. Do you know what oil that is? Balance. Balance, yes. So steady smells to me like Apples. It's the isn't that a really nice smell, Janice? Have you don't you love it? Do your daughter, kids love that one? Um, my daughter's favorite is actually Rescuer because of spearmint. Oh. It, it reminds her of like gum, chewing gum, which is she's not allowed to do. <laughs> but it smells good. But yes, exactly. Well, steady is what we like. It's a calm, balanced mood, promotes feelings that you can see relaxation. Um, what I like about it, it has amorous balsam fir, coriander, magnolia, which is one of the new oils. Um, and it's just really comforting. And it tells them where to put it on the back of the neck, the bottoms of the feet. And it helps them to know when they're feeling a little stressed or a little, you know, a little bit you know, anxious, they can use that also. The other oil that's also, so I should tell you, this is the one that has the heart on it for the heart. So we want kids to start being aware of their emotions as well as, you know, how they're feeling, why they're feeling it and to nurture and care for themselves. Um, I mean, just think what the leaders we're raising later on in life, if they knew how to handle their emotions, all the praise hands, if all the leaders in the world could do learn how to handle their emotions, right? Okay, a little joke. Yeah, thank you for laughing, the one person. I appreciate it. <laughs> but point is, is that we're helping them to understand their feelings and, and really care for themselves. Again, I love them. So when during um, our school time, we're doing schoolwork, she, I have the, the kit that comes in this lovely bag. Now, when you buy it as individuals later on, you don't get the bag and the cards. Only when they buy the set. But we'll keep the set open between us and we're both using it. I'm like, I'm a little annoyed you know, or I'm a little, I need to focus here. And so she and I will be passing things back and forth. Hey, anyone want this? Like, yeah, give it to me. And so it's just really, it's really fun for them. Okay. Um, now let's go to the next oil, Magnolia Touch. So a lot of people have from the South. Um, this Magnolia is a little bit different. It's, um, uh, it's from China. Um, I didn't know that over half of China is 
agriculturally based. We always think of the big cities. So um, the sourcing team that we have in doTERRA, they go all around the world and they, they really meet with people to kind of find, investigate new plants and to see what they can bring to the doTERRA family. So, um, so the magnolia, um, they just, it's a very different, it's a little bit different than other types of flower oils. Um, what I'm going to tell you right here is very calm and relaxing because of something called linalool. Linalool is the chemical compound in a lot of the flower oils that cause that very calming effect. And if you guys want it, there's a chemistry book, an ebook under doTERRA ebooks. You can Google doTERRA.com ebooks and chemistry, and the new chemistry book is there, and they'll have magnolia, and you can learn more about the chemistry if you're into that. But really, people are using it under their eyes, um, really helps with the healthy looking skin, soothing to the skin. So anything calming you need to the skin, to the emotions, you can think magnolia. It may help ease anxious feelings. It's a little sweet for me when I first smelled it, but when I rolled it, I liked it a little better, actually. And then I really loved it when I put neroli over it. Oh, my Ooh. word. I literally was like walking around like, this is so good. We had, and I, said, this, I love this. So has anyone have a magnolia story? Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, you do? Actually, the, um, the Minolul, um, they brought that up at the convention. Um, it was, I believe it was stated that um, it has the highest concentration of that chemical constituent um, out of any of the oils. And they said it was kind of similar to the Melissa and Heli um based on the chemistry. So those are two I haven't used, but you mentioned it was quite soothing. So it's, it's I think the soothing to the emotions and the tissues as well, um, as well as uh, confidence, fragrance, mood. I'm like, what doesn't it do? I love the smell. I'm partial to magnolia. So. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you for sharing that with me. Yes, it has um, twice as much linalool as lavender. We all would know how lavender is very calming to the tissue and skin. So it's also relaxing skin health. Like she said, gastrointestinal cleansing. Um, I thought that was interesting, rolling it on your belly. Um, immune boosting, sleep, similar, like she was saying to Hello, Chris and Melissa for that. So um, thank you for that. Okay. So the next one is the beautiful body mist. So the doTERRA had this blend called beautiful that was like only a limited release last year. And it smells like the Wrigley's or whatever that gum is, that uh, fruit gum, that those long sticks of gum, the yellow packs. Do you know what I'm talking about? Juicy? Juicy fruit? Yes. Juicy fruit. Am I right? Does that smell like juicy fruit? Yeah. I love it. I literally put it on and I was like, I, looked, my, I couldn't find it. My daughter had it in her room and I just found it. I was like, this is almost full. I've been wondering where it was. So I was using it as I put it into bed and I just had a little smile as I was tucking them into bed. I'm like, wow, I love this oil. And so um, this blend is now in a body mist. And so um, Janice, you, had, you explained this really well. Do you want to talk about this body mist at all? what you like it for? Um, so I like how it's very gentle, very light. Um, I, since I've been using oils, I can't do perfume. That strong um, scent of perfume really bothers me. So this is just enough like a tint of oil. And the way it's designed, the device is so smart. So it's a 360 degree applicator. So you can Tip it any way you want, you can still apply it, be able to apply it well enough to really see the mist and really rub it on without getting it into the air. Um, so I really like the smell of it, very gentle, um, very lightly scented. Yes. So what it is, a beautiful has lime peel, bergamot, osmanthus flowers, that's what gives that, that really like that juicy fruit smell. Um, and frankincense. So it's got some good oils in there. And I like to spray it on my hand and rub it in um, on my heels. And my heels are looking good. Um, it just feels very like a luxurious um, bath spa. And so this is actually really nice because I mean, this could be a Christmas present for, grand, for mom. You know, this is a great one. Um, and without all the endocrine disrupting perfumes and scents and things. Okay, so pink pepper. This is an amazing powerhouse. Okay. This is a really good oil. So let's take a moment to discuss this. Do you know that? Um, do you know that there's like this chemical compound called limonene? We sometimes talk about that because that's what's on citrus oils. But there's one that we haven't really talked about called a philandrine, um, and those are two of the main chemical components in pink pepper. Uh, but they're very calming to the nervous system. Um, it's also believed that it may support the body in maintaining healthy cellular function and overall cellular health. 
So I'm going to read a little bit from um, convention, what they said about it. First of all, this one, there is a video, a co-impact sourcing video. And I encourage you guys to watch it with a tissue handy. I mean, not really tissue, like it wasn't but overly emotional, but just to know these women and how just by this pink pepper was growing all around them and they were having to use their own bodies in a way that they did not honor themselves. And just to know that they were able to like, this is actually worth something right here above us. And they um, taught them how to climb it. And they like, we climb it all the time. And they were able to provide for their families. It's lovely. But um, they are- That's what Jennifer was talking about earlier. Yes. And they source from Peru also. They um, And what is nice is that, um, let me just go to the to the action. It was called a superhero, but went by one of our owners called Emily Wright. Um, it's good for every inch of the body, but the greatest benefit is internally from your throat to the gastrointestinal tract, liver, um, the whole area, cardiovascular system, even in kidneys. You can use topically to support like the circulatory system. So the chemistry we talked about um, is the limonene for the cleansing, uplifting but the alpha phaledrine is for the immune health and cellular health. And then alpha pinene is cellular rejuvenation and respiratory support. So this is like a powerhouse. So it interacts with our body in three different ways. Um, different cells are activated. So um, alpha phaledrine is also in something called blue tansy, but it's like a 5.7% in that oil, but it's 15 to 30% in our um, oil and um, in our pink pepper versus blue tansy. But what happens is that really helps with um, when our cells divide, cell mitosis it's called, um, it's important that it happens properly, right? We want to know that our cells are dividing and, and uh, having a normal cycle, cell cycle health and death um, of the cells. That's really important for illnesses and you can Google that and find out more. Um, but the research is showing that this chemical to protect and nurture cells and cause unhealthy cells to die. We always want unhealthy cells to go die. That's good. Um, we don't want them to spread and re, um, reproduce. So it also helps support a healthy inflammatory response, alleviates even neuropathic um, discomfort, which I thought that was really interesting, um, and activates killer cells to go out and boost up the body's immune system. I'm so surprised they said that at convention because that's pretty, this is pretty like hard language. They don't normally say things like that. They're, and they're coming out and calling a spade a spade. Um, it is a great companion with the Aroma Touch. Um, Aroma Touch is a type of, we have an oil called Aroma Touch, but there's actually a massage technique called Aroma Touch. And they're saying, when doing this technique, and someone has neuro, neuropathic discomfort, you can add this oil and then add heat and massage, and it's going to really help their um, discomfort within their um, legs or feet or any areas. Uh, but it does support different body systems. And so what they did was there was a slide we're not going to show you, but there was a pink ribbon, very faint. Did you guys see it? Did you guys watch it live? Did you see the pink ribbon nice and big when you were there? Because I could barely, yeah. Anyone else want to say anything? Uh, I didn't see it when I was there, but I saw it later on. It's yeah. very faint. Very faint. There's I think enough one in there. I didn't see it at first. Put that in there. So subliminal yeah. health wise, subliminally, they're saying that we should be combining this with DDR prime. So yeah. the picture of DDR prime, which is uh, damaged DNA repair, and then um, then I probably maybe I got that wrong. So someone else was going to check that up on me. Um, I'm always okay with correction. Um, so DDR prime and pink pepper, and then they had that little lovely breast pink breast uh, ribbon. So what that does is supports our cells, encourages cell death when it should occur. So I want to encourage us as we are, a lot of us are in an age group that maybe we want to consider looking at DDR prime comes as a soft gel. You can come as a, a 30 ml uh, oil that they're now converting and they're going to change it over to a half the price, half the size, a 15 ml bottle of DDR prime, which is going to be awesome. So I'm really excited about that because um, a big bottle just was, we weren't using, uh, we weren't using it fast enough. So you can make capsules with yourself. You can make a capsule of DDR prime and add pink pepper, close it up. You could take that internally every day. I think they say pink pepper is really good internally, but um, you can also of course use it topically for discomfort. Okay, so let me just look and see if there's any more questions about pink pepper. Anyone want to say anything else before I move on to the next one? This is a more, um, okay, so the next one is going to be a really good oil. Who likes this oil? Let me hear you. Tell me what it means. 
Oh, I, got, I got the hands up. I got the hands up from Janice. Shelly's raising her hand. Jennifer. All right. So now Martha's pulling it out and smelling it. Okay. What do you think? You don't like it? Well, Martha, I like, you don't like it, Shelly? I don't like the smell of it. I don't like the smell of it either. No, but I've been putting like a piece it of wood. in a capsule. Okay, so <laughs> putting it in a capsule. What it is smells a lot better than turmeric, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it smells like eggplant. Turmeric is <laughs> So take a bottle, if you have your Gero palm next to you, go ahead and put a drop on your hand, Martha, you have yours. And you can just feel the color, you can look at the color, the blue, we'll talk about that in a second. Well, and then you can feel the soft, you know, the moisture of the palm. So what is palm? That's weird when I saw the like Gero palm. Well, what it is, it's um, Gero oil, which um, it's been a three year project of sourcing and working with small scale farmers to get this in the ground and get everything just working just right. So apparently the history is Achilles, um, Greek god, uh, used to rub it on to protect himself from arrows, his wounds, and his soldiers did the same. So Yarrow has a, a long history, you know, um, about that. Um, so, but Yarrow um, palm, it's pomegranate seed oil. It's going to be sold as a, like this bottle shows. Let me move my, um, if I move our pictures across. You're, are you fine. Guys You're fine. Everything is fine here. Okay. Because I'm covering my, our pictures are covering up the thing. So I don't know if I move it around. Okay, never mind. So it's going to be in this larger 30 ml bottle and it's going to be 95 PV. If you want to buy it, I'm going to tell you right now, there is a way to get this. I'm going to stop right now and just stop before the education. You might want to consider getting it now. We did, they didn't have it ready for us now. It'll be available December 1st. So they put in our kit, our, the kits that you can buy right now, a 15 ml bottle with a normal lid. So it's a little hard to get out. Like I'll have to stand like this. Um, but I just want to talk a little bit about that for a second, um, that this is a great way to try it out is in the post-convention kit. So it provides powerful antioxidant support, cellular immune and nervous system healthy metabolic function. Oh, we're going to talk about that in a second. Calms the body and mind and soothes the skin. Does anyone have any um, stories for Yarrow Palm yet for themselves? Anything? All of them. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm putting all of them in my, in a capsule. Okay. Well, let's talk about this for a second, why she did that. So first of all, it's vegan. And then I'm going to talk why it's vegan, why it's important. It's something unusual. Just put that in the back of your mind. Um, but what it is, is a very different way of getting the oils to us. It's called this active botanical nutritive duo with the yarrow and the palm. So the palm is the, um, yarrow is the essential oil. Cold pressed pomegranate seed oil is the one that's the, the, um, the fatty oil, so to speak. It's not an essential oil. So there were these pictures. I'll just tell you really quick a little bit about it. Um, it's... The, it, let me just, the, this, what I, I want to hold on. Let me just get back to my notes instead of me just talking off the top of my head. Okay, so um, emotional benefits are very helpful to, as well as the physical benefits. So it's helping for cleansing, protecting, mending, they say for emotional support. Um, but it's a blue oil, it's higher in antioxidants than vitamin C or E. Reaction happens that makes it blue. The can't, when they steam distill these yellow flowers, like um, blue tansy and then um, yarrow, it becomes the shamel, shamelzaline. Did I say that wrong? I said that. Come, it turns a blue color during the distillation process. But it has higher antioxidants than vitamin C or E. There's no vitamins in it. There's no vitamins in essential oils. It just has the antioxidant support. Um, also, they say it can protect against negative people and energy. I don't know where they're getting that from, but okay. <laughs> let's go ahead and like, let's start that. It's a the news. Let's just start <laughs> Facebook feed. Let's start, you know, blessing them. Okay. Anyway, just kidding. Um, beta pining. Okay. So amazing activator for cognitive processes, emotion, arousal, and memory in the monoaminergic system. That's what I was trying to pronounce before the call. Can someone please say it correctly? Monoaminogeric. I'm saying it wrong. No one knows what I'm talking about. Um, so what that means is those are our phone lines that we have between our brain stem, though, into the their different parts of our rest of our brain. So these are the, that, that, that part of our brain that I was just mentioning has our neurotransmitted circuits. And so the dopamine, serotonin, histamine, epinephrine, norepinephrine, 
those are all kind of governed by the system. So this really helps to balance that fight or flight, that kind of homeostasis. So that's why I think calming to the body and to the mind. Um, it helps counteract stress too. So the physical side of the history of this is that it's a blood tonic, but it often regulates blood vessels tone, maintains a healthy blood pressure in the body. Did you all hear that? Amazing anti-aging benefits. Um, you can put it in under your tongue or on your skin. So if you guys have dry skin or when you travel or the seasons change, start putting that on your heels, on your elbows, or anywhere on your skin. It's amazing. Um, also helping our gut, apparently. Um, really helpful for our gut health, it says. Use also in our face. So I love blue pansy for um, acne, occasional blemishes for my child's skin. It's really effective and great in a homemade serum. I would say yarrow is going to be just as fabulous as that. Now, something that's also in this oil in yarrow is called BCP, um, beta, beta carophylline. So that is uh, affects how do I say it? We have a cannabinoid system. And so basically we have the BCP, beta carophylline affects our CB2 receptors mm -hmm. directly. Sometimes you've heard of cannabis and different things of that sort. First of all, they have not found any kind of cannabis product that didn't have some levels of THC. That's the one that can cause the um, hallucinogenic effects of the, of the oil um, of the plant. They, they haven't found any CBD uh, cannabis products that didn't have that. So what they're saying, they are, they're never gonna do cannabis. They're gonna do co uh, copaiba. That's a, the oil that is really helpful. But they said yarrow also has beta carophylline. Um, and so CB1 receptors that brain our central nervous system for pleasure and pain. CB2 is found in our immune cells, gastrointestinal tract, and your peripheral nervous system. So um, what happens is, is that they activate the whole system to create homeostasis in your body. So yarrow is a very powerful oil. Um, no one's really, I mean, sourcing is hard for this oil. This is a real investment. Um, it's, a, it's not an easy oil to source. And especially this pomegranate seed oil, that's really cool about that. Um, what I would like you to guys to Google is, um, this is where the vegan comes in. Vegan, um, to get the CLAs, so it's conjugated uh, linoleic acid, CLAs. That is really only in meat. And so vegans, um, this is one of the one sources, pomegranate seed extract. It actually has a couple of si punic acid. Someone else can interrupt me. Please interrupt me if I'm saying these wrong. But they're very, very helpful for the CLA, conjugated lin linoleic acid. And it's one of the only ways like vegans could never get yeah. this. It's one of very unusual. Uh, Lita, sorry, can I interrupt? The conjugated linoleic acid, I think was one of the two types of fatty acids in the palm. Was that they made re reference to? It's the um, they're found in the seed oil. Um, so, the, whereas um, the yarrow you mentioned before has a lot of these biological activities, it doesn't have nutritional benefits like with these fatty acids that the palm does. So the idea in this combination product is they act synergistically. Um, you made reference to a lot of the different chemical constituents of these pathways. Um, but it's, it's more just in having these certain um, chemical constituents, it's how they interact together. And the combination of the two is sort of like the greater, it's like the sum of them all, um, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> but you have like a nutritional boost, well, sort of boost with these fatty acids here, the source of omega-5 with that the CLA combined with the yarrow. Um, and I think that's the metabolic activities, the benefits, like you said, it's a broad spectrum of um, affecting the organs, liver, pancreas, other organs. So it's, um, I don't know, it's like, what doesn't it do? <laughs> yes, yeah. Much. So healthy metabolic function. So it's not just yarrow, it's the yarrow with the pomegranate seed oil, right? That's what she's talking about. So she said everything wonderfully. Um, and so I think what people have said since then is they've said, recommended one or two drops in a capsule twice a day for a metabolic support. So in our Facebook group, I posted that a woman was sharing, um, uh, she, she was in some leaders group, but she, the woman, the leader shared it to Emily Wright in a, a special group for the uh, leaders of doTERRA. And Emily said, um, she said, hey, since convention, my builder, one of my key people in my, comp my um, organization, they placed two to three drops of uh, yarrow palm in a veggie cap three times a day. And she's lost 15 pounds since convention, not doing anything different. And we're like, what? 
And Emily Wright said, well, that's right. It can affect your hormone, your, you know, help bring your hormonal balance and that might help your body release some weight. Um, and she also rec recommended turmeric as being a powerhouse also, which we're going to get to soon. So that being said, um, I'm using a couple drops into my tongue. I had mixed it like what Shelly was saying in a veggie capsule. I put pink pepper, yarrow, turmeric um, in a, a soft gel when I was feeling ill. And I'm not, I, my, I was getting the sickness that was going around and that plus a little on guard tricks that I do. Twice I almost got ill, really felt awful. I was definitely gonna go get sick. And I turned it around and I was using yarrow palm as one of the ingredients in my veggie capsule. Anything else before I move on? There's so much more we can say, but she gave me that. Thank you for hitting the omega fives. I really appreciate that. That says TLA. Also one thing that should be helpful to say, it helps maintain normal cholesterol responses. So that's really important um, for the CB2. Well, yes, yeah, so you just really want to consider this one for you taking internally also for normal uh, cholesterol. Um, the way the, there is a little bit more about the metabolic dysfunction. We have the adipose tissue. Um, we have more fat cells, when we're overweight. And then basically they want to do a lot of science. I can't even read, I can share my notes, but I'll share the notes. I have, it's 114 pages. I printed them out today at Staples. So um, you can read it all for yourself on Google Drive, okay? I'll give you the link. Um, but let's move on from there. Any, are you guys excited about this one? Oh, real quick, Lita. Yes. They did mention you could um, use it topically with the tumor. And I think that goes back to the COX-2 pathways, which is what's involved in infl inflammation. Mm -hmm. um, so that might be something to consider. I, I have something about overcoming the blue, the blue color, <laughs> yeah. but, but using it topically, um, yeah, for inflammation with the turmeric, good idea. So on Instagram, I'm seeing people putting it under their eyes and their, their eyes, their, their skin is looking amazing. There's an amazing sort of Emily Wright's hands before and after. So just put those on your heels. I'm hearing seeing people like with those dry cracked heels. So definitely use it topically. They say it can mat uses really well with cedarwood and frankincense. Okay, so um, moving on to the next, something more lighter. Whoops, it's not as um, intense science-wise, but um, Shelly, would you like to read a little bit more about On Guard Mouthwash? Um, On Guard Mouthwash is very much like our natural toothpaste that we have, the On Guard Toothpaste, but they have created an On Guard Mouthwash. It is clear, which when I first poured it, I was amazed because it was clear. You're not usually thinking of something being clear, um, but it's it was awesome looking at it. It's got all the the clove, the cinnamon, all of that. When you use it, it's it feels really good because it's alcohol free. The kids can use it. That's the best part. I will tell you one of the things that I that I wrote down is they have a micro encapsulation process so that it doesn't damage the oils. So that really helped hear some of that and it inhibits the growth of any of the um the growth in our mouth i think with the plaque and everything mm -hmm. um it's a propri the proprietary blend of the essential oils and it can be used anytime between brushing your teeth cleaning your mouth freshening your breath balancing your oral ph anytime you want to use utilize that so i love the mouthwash it's awesome it is. They did 70% more participants with healthy oral pH range just after using it for just four days. Um, and so it just really was ex exceptional as far as getting people into the, um, the proper um, healthy mouth um, uh, health care. As we know, our mouth is a really important thing for our teeth. So my husband and I love it and he's like a mouthwash yes. junkie. So that's really, he's really particular about his mouthwash. Mine too. He, he uses it every day. Yeah, I love it. Um, and also, yeah, the, it's great. So let's move on to the next one. Um, oh, you know what? That's not available till much later. I think November or December. You can't buy that unless you buy it in the post-convention kit, which we'll share at the end. Ah, Green Mandarin. Who loves this oil? Me! <laughs> Good. Who doesn't? Ask who doesn't. It's, this, it's like the, the most delightful little citrus oil. I can't even describe it. I want to just drink it. <laughs> what did you just say? I just want to chug it. <laughs> I diffuse it. It's really nice. Yes, it's very, very normal. Shelly's normal. 
Yeah. If you're saying it's a wonderful way of using it, please don't chug it, but you know. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why people say, well, I had adverse drug reaction to essential oil because I chugged it. You end up in one of those reports. Well, she, um, and Janice, in case anyone watches later, she's a pharmacist, so she knows she's, um, she, and so is Jennifer. They're giving us their good. I love it when they speak. When they do speak, I just like, wow, that's so cool. You guys say things in big words. I love it. <laughs> okay, so basically green mandarin, we had red mandarin um, like a couple years ago for a Mother's Day type of oil. So red mandarin is like the mature, green mandarin's before it matures into the red mandarin. So um, it's actually unusual chemistry. Here's what's cool about it. Um, it allows it to have a non-typical aroma, which is why we all want to eat it up. But it also uh, reduces almost a no to very reduced photosensitivity. Yes. So I, there's a woman right now, she's in doTERRA in Europe. She's a leader in Europe and she's in Italy right now in Sicily looking at the green Mandarin. I said, can you text them and to ask them about the photosensitivity? And can we use it in our allergy blend now? Like lemon, lavender, peppermint, can we use green Mandarin? And over our noses, you know, when you have a congestion on our necks and stuff. So the lady's going to ask them. I'll let you know what she says. I haven't checked Instagram today, but um, they're a little ahead of the time. But she said she's going to find out for us. And she's like, this is a great idea. We can use it instead of lemon. So for the sun sensitivity. Um, but one thing it does, it has a really diverse effect of benefits, nervous, digestive, respiratory. Um, it's very unique and soothing and uplifting when diffused. A natural capacity to promote healthy immune function. So you can use this in your, your immune blends. It's a, it's, it actually is a kind of a must have. Did anyone buy the Harmony kit last, this past spring? They had a Mother's Day kit. Mm -hmm. Harmony, green, pink pepper and green mandarin in it. They, they those sneaky doTERRA people, they didn't tell us all the amazing benefits of pink pepper. They were waiting to convention. I had no idea. I was like keeping it closed until it was a very special occasion to open up pink pepper. So now I'm like, now I'm like putting a drop in my water, a drop of green mandarin. Um, they said pink pepper is very good internally all the way through. So I had a drop in a 22 ounce glass stainless steel water, which is right over there. Um, I put a drop or two of uh, pink pepper and a drop of green mandarin and it was good. It did not taste bad at all. Now it was a 22 ounces, but it was a wonderful. Um, okay. Anything else about this oil? There's a lot that could be said about the citrus oils. I uh, don't want to go into too much depth, but I do want to say that, um, that there is, um, it really helped with, uh, there's a lot of science behind it. Um, you can combine, the main thing is you want to combine it with lime or eucalyptus for respiratory support, um, diffuse to elevate your mood, improve your environment. Um, it's been studied and it's actually recommended on the doTERRA product information page, which is in our group, but you are on their website for doTERRA. You can, it's used for food pre preservation. So use it in a spray for cleaning your veggies. Um, so it's uh, wonderful. Any other uses on it and we'll move yeah. on? They said you could combine it with yarrow for metabolic support too. Well, oh yeah, they did say that. <laughs> and you can apply it topically to calm and soothe skin irritation. So I'm thinking bug bites. Or I don't have that on there for this. I am looking now. This is wonderful. That um, is the slide I sent you. Yeah, okay, thank you for sharing that, yes. So here it says, one thing about this is limonene is dominant. So the highest amounts of lim limonene, um, tangerine, grapefruit, wild orange, and now green mandarin. So we want limonene and a lot of health benefits, especially for women. Um, there's an article in our group about breast health by Robert Tisseran and looking at high lim limonene content of grapefruit. Um, but they even studied lemonade. They made a lemonade and they found that limonene was stored in women's fat tissues, um, which is, I think is very helpful in thinking about detoxifying or um, and one of the reasons why I drink lemon internally um, is just to be, um, it, there's no study to show that it actually cured, treated, or anything if you had uh, breast cancer, but it was, there were some studies saying that it was potentially protective. So, um, green, and that you have to have high enough limonene content. And so what they did mention is grapefruit, wild orange, um, and tangerine and green mandarin now. So just want to let you know that, uh, that it, it, according to my notes, did any, am I saying that wrong, Jennifer? Am I wrong on that? Is green mandarin as high in limonene as the rest of them? Oh, you're, but you're muted, you're muted. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Sorry. Yeah, in my notes, it, they mentioned the, um, the limonene and the citrus had the highest concentration um, for the green mandarin, um, but you also see it like in the wild orange, grapefruit, tangerine, 
and I think you already touched on the, the yeah. benefits related to digestion, glucose, cholesterol. Glucose? I didn't um, cholesterol? Oh. I didn't say that. Oh. You're right. You're right. right. I think you're you're right. right. I'd have to do a little research on those pathways, but those were in my notes. From, um, no, it's limonene in general. The pathways mm -hmm. support digestive health, which, by the way, I've used that right on my belly, like late at night, bergamot was by my bedside. As a citrus oil, I rubbed that on my belly because I was not feeling well and I could not, I didn't want to get up and get anything. And I, within a few minutes, my tummy issues were relaxed. So um, again, when we tell someone, especially with children who may not like digest zen, when you make a rollerball with 15 to 20 drops for an adult. You can go definitely go less for younger children. You can put 10 or 15 drops or some level of that of wild orange because wild orange covers the smell, but it also is really great for digestive support. But I didn't know about the cholesterol and the metabolic. This is why we're adding it to our capsule too. Mm -hmm. I now understand. Okay, let's so move on. Somewhere I wrote there was 95% limonene. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Line. I didn't write the number, but I just made a note it had the highest concentration. That I wrote. Yeah. So if you guys want to go, when you get your bottle, you can look at the bottom of your bottle. There's a code there. And I want you to go and research that code. Go to source to you.com of your single oils and go ahead and put that code in. And you're going to be able to see, you can check the limonene content of that bottle of oil. So you guys can do that if you'd like. Um, you can even share it in the, in the Facebook group if you'd like. Oh no, what happened? Ah. Uh, oh, I, there's questions here that we missed. We're here. Some, the only some, question I see is, does the does it make the pH range more alkaline? I'm okay. assuming they're talking about the On Guard mouthwash. I'm not sure. Yeah, um, that's what she's talking about. Okay, so something happened. I don't know. The program I just shut down. Um, hold on one second. Let me just. Uh, you can't see my screen, right? Um, Hold on one second. I'm, it, the whole program crashed in the middle of the thing. So just, it's not a big deal. I just need to open up the window. So let's talk about turmeric because that came up even though I don't have the picture. It's just a picture of turmeric. So I'll just tell you, we'll just go from here and then I'll get my PowerPoint up. Would someone, um, can you read some of the notes we had for turmeric that I had given Shelly while I pull it up? Yes, many people around the world have realized the benefits provided by turmeric and have been giving it in capsules. So this is great, but it's also not the best way as the large water soluble capsules are. And they were showing that. So they wanted to create turmeric that would work better with our cellular membranes. So they created the essential oil. So that's why they've been working on turmeric all the time. We have turmeric and we've had turmeric in DDR prime. No, not DDR prime. Um, deep blue polyphenol complex and alpha CRS. Okay. I knew the deep blue poly, polyphenols. Okay. So turmeric. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Sorry. I know. So let's look at the benefits of this oil. It can enhance cellular antioxidant enzymes. It helps support healthy glucose and lipid metabolism. It helps support healthy nervous and cellular function. And it's been shown to increase curcumin potency and absorption. It may also promote healthy immune function and response. And a lot of these are what was on the slide that Lita had. And when diffused, turmeric provides an emotional lift and help improve your mood. So it supports clean and healthy looking skin also while reducing the appearances of blemishes. So another one that uh, we can look at for acne. For acne, okay. So tell us how you used it when you weren't feeling about this past. Uh, so turmeric is one of those that I put in my capsule when I put in the yarrow. I also put in frankincense. I put two of the yarrow, two turmeric, three frankincense, three copaiba in a capsule. And I have been taking that every morning now. And I'll tell you, if I don't take it, I'm sluggish, even after taking my vitamins. But this totally clears my brain. Could you say what you're doing again with that? And everyone like write that down. That's awesome. What is that again what you were doing? Well, I probably should add the pink pepper now too, but. <laughs> <laughs> Be loaded. <laughs> Gotta load it up. I figure yeah. I have the the copaiba, if I'm making a pill instead of using the soft gel, which I love the soft gel pill, 
but I want to hoard it now and when I really need a pill to, you know, cover all the hurts and, and aches and pains. So I've been, when I've been making a turmeric, a capsule, I put two drops of turmeric, two drops of yarrow, if I can get it out. Um, <laughs> it was hard. <laughs> three drops of, of frankincense and three drops of copaiba and put it in a capsule. And it's fun looking at the capsule. I don't know if you can see the picture of what I did in the capsule, but there's definitely a blue line. Oh. It's blue. <laughs> yeah. So all of that in a capsule and I, da and I just take that capsule as a pill yeah. in the morning. And it, when I didn't do it this morning, after coming back from working out, I kind of felt sluggish and just brain fog kind of stuff. And when I took that, and the best part about using essential oils in a capsule is like you don't have to wait for the pill to take effect because it takes effect probably within 10 minutes. And it's, it's great. It, I was using it because I was like Lita feeling sick. Mm. And this was my way to combat all of that gross stuff. I was also taking a, a um, on guard soft gel. So, and I've been doing that. Thank you for sharing that. That was awesome. Yes, that's what I did. And I found I did an experiment where I put a drop, one drop each of turmeric, pink pepper, um, yarrow palm, and the green mandarin. And I closed it up and I left it out. I made a couple of them, one for my daughter, was the only one for me, and helped me prevent it. And I left one there on a tissue and it did not leak. I was like, I'm going to keep an eye on that. We'll have to try that again if that was a fluke or not. But um, just to let you know how you can use it is... Um, one to two drops internally for cell viability and protection. Use topically to calm tissue irritation. So I had back back pain and I took a copaiba soft gel, which we'll talk about in a little second. And then I pain came back four hours later and I used um, turmeric on it, a drop. And it smells like salmon. I don't know how to say it. It's not, it's not, you don't, you don't want to diffuse this, okay? Just be honest. But I did um, find it that the pain discomfort went away. You can use so topically to calm skin irritation. Combination with um, um, different ways in our body, yarrow palm topically, and different pathways in the body is in our notes. Um, one last thing I want to say about it is that you can, although it smells terrible, I'll just be honest with you. You don't buy this for the smell. It's great for the skin. You can make a mud mask or a mask with honey. You can add a honey and turmeric, a mask is lovely. Second thing is also cooking with it. So people are finding it tastes delightful. So it doesn't taste like it smells. So you can actually put it in your, um, you make a golden milk or you might've heard of a turmeric latte. So people will use this with um, an essential oil of cardamom, ginger or cinnamon, uh, whatever they choose, mixed with milk, uh, coconut milk or whatever they like. And they add this after it's heated up, then they add the oils, they mix it and they say it's delicious. And there's some recipes floating around. Like if you're interested, I can find a recipe and try it myself before I give it to you guys. And uh, does that anyone like golden milk? Anyone like that kind? They're finding it very relaxing to have that before bed. If someone could check the chat for me as we keep going on. Uh, Vita. Yes. Lawrence is asking, how, well, or Shelly, how many capsules do you prepare at a time? I do don't. One daily? Um, I just do, usually make a capsule before I go. I was surprised that it wasn't. So let's let someone else try that too. Try it and like comment in the Facebook group of how that's working for you guys, okay? Um, sometimes if you add a fatty oil, like the palm, a granite seed oil, I have sometimes I'll add a little olive oil. I have like a little drop thing. That, that, that fatty oil will help make the capsules last longer than just the essential oh. oil. Okay. So that's what I've found. But oh, cool. Whoa, hello. Soft gels. Whoa. Angels are can, can I say something else really quick? Sure. Um, Janice, maybe you can help me. The turmeric. Um, Susie's daughter, Stephanie, ended up really sick at convention. Yes. She, I don't remember what it is she has. She had paralyzing migraine. There's a diagnosis, but I had never heard of it. Um, but, you know, we all have weird things that you've never heard of. So. She came down with it one day and... So Whitney went over there and she was using turmeric with her. And the next day we saw Stephanie. So it didn't totally paralyze her in terms of she got better quicker. Yeah. So I she would have been in Palm too, yeah. along with turmeric. 
So, yes. Yeah, well, I would add turmeric if you could in your in a veggie in a roller ball maybe with for other with other oils, copaiba and some other oils that maybe smell better. Um, that would be a great way to use it. I just used it right on my hand and rubbed it in and helped with pain. Let's talk about pain and discomfort. Uh, so copaiba, which if I really want you guys to do some research on this, doTERRA is what makes it different is the four strands, um, not strands, but four, not strains, four types, chemotypes of copaiba um, that make it different. Cardiovascular, liver, brain support, um, variety of chemistry. So the soft gels, people were having amazing results of putting two drops under their tongue. I had it for my mood and emotion. My adult daughter is taking this every day. Um, for a couple of weeks, we're going to test it out to see if it'll help her with her stress. We're going to do a test. It may or may not. We're having an open mind. But I know that I um, found when I had eight, like, a nerve, like a back spasm, I used that. And for the next three or four hours, I didn't have it. But what people that I have done is put a drop under my tongue of copaiba. And I still will, but I've been using this too. Um, so just to let you know, this is a, some great uses for, for, um, for mood. Um, and actually, if you look at the product information page, that's the page that comes on doTERRA's website at the bottom of the products, you can buy it at the bottom is like a pip, click on it. And it actually tells you, you can use it for mood and emotions too. So this is going to be carrageenan free and they're slowly going to move over all their products, um, their soft gels to that. Although they don't feel like there's any health problems with it, the, the version they use, they just want to be above and beyond that. So let's move on to the next. So just a little let you know that although we're not um, 22 to 36, that is the, the their customer base are millennials. So if you have millennials, you might think they'd not be interested, but they're the ones that are really interested. They're conscious consumer. They want their product to reflect their lifestyle. They're educated, they're informed, they do their research. Um, and so that's just something I thought was interesting, um, that they're the up and coming customers. Um, this is the best stuff ever. Who's tried this and loves it? It's me. Shelly, you haven't tried it yet? No. You haven't? No. How about I you, James? My husband. I ha he hasn't tried it yet. I gave it to my husband and um, I need to ask him for, I need to ask him a follow-up question. What? Lady. Asian people don't have BO, so I don't get to use this. <laughs> okay. Asian people don't have BO. I Asian feel girls I'm... don't have BO. Okay, well, I'm sorry. You say your husband's Asian. He does. Asian man, men have that. Anyway, so that's TMI. Anyway, um, I'm Asian. I'm all from India, and I have BO. I do. Well, people from Far East Asia. <laughs> I don't know. What abs? What abs? Okay. okay. I love this. It Here works. Nice. It works on this Indian right here. And I <laughs> love it. And so they're Lisa Abler's husband. He was faithfully using the other doTERRA one. And, and Lisa was like, hmm, this is working. They're all using it. They love it. It's not, It's lasting all day long. That's a really good sign. What's nice is environmental working group. Each one of those ingredients are considered one, which is the safest on their scale. So not only you're not using aluminum, you're now also using so many things that are not bad for you. However, there are some people that are sensitive to baking soda. If you do and you have a reaction, just know that they're making a baking soda free it's coming out later, as well as citrus bliss deodorant too. So get this deodorant, it is gonna, and it's, guess what? It's double the size of the other deodorant for like 25 cents more. So for five PV, go ahead and buy it from doTERRA. You're gonna love it, love it, love it. I think they should be stocking stuffers for everybody. Okay, I mean, is that gross to give everyone like deodorant? Maybe that would be too much. Maybe I won't do that. Okay, um, it has balanced oil without saying it. Um, there has a vet, this is a new cool thing, the veterinary advisory board. There's a video I'll be posting. Um, they're going to be completing this year, doing some work towards clarifying confusion about essential oils of pets and livestock. And Janet Rourke from the Essential Oil Vet, the woman who wrote Spoil Your Pet, um, Dr. Mia Frezzo is on there. She's all, they're all veterinarians. Um, their whole board was full of them. It was really excited. So I just wanted you to keep an eye out. They did share some um, dilutions. One was for don't use Melaleuca. Um, let me just go ahead and say it correctly. If anyone wants to pop in here with that, I'm going to just turn my page to the, I did not have it marked on my page about the vets. So, um, but they did say, for instance, I saw, um, they said five to six drops of an essential oil that's safe for pets and a 10 ml roller ball is just a go ahead safe dilution for your, um, for your pets. But definitely uh, keep your eye out. They're going to be giving more safety. <laughs> there is some safety that was shared at doTERRA and I'd love to share those slides with you. We just didn't share them all here. 
I see um, there's some more comments. Does someone keep monitoring them? Okay, they brought Hugh Jackman and he uses doTERRA. His wife loves it. He has, he called it a vaporizer. I don't even know who he was. I was like, who's he? I felt so behind the times. But Janice was like dying that she wasn't there. She had to leave early. Janice, were you so upset? I said, I can't talk about this. I spent money to come here and I miss you, Jackman. <laughs> oh, it's oh, I love you, Jackman. It's okay, awesome. sorry. I should have cleared that before with her before bringing it up. Just a little salt. So bitter about it. <laughs> Which is not. Susie was, Susie was, or was she not? What? Could Susie li do a live with it? Yeah, so it might be the recording. She has a recording and it's essential oil frenzy, I think. So you can it. But it's not the same as listening to him no, live, listening no. to Greatest Showman song, anyways. Yeah. I know, I know. He also, um, he said um, that he has this thing called laughing coffee. I'm sure I messed it up. So, so he talks about one cup of coffee, one drop of essential oil. Together, we're going to change the world. But basically, he had a really memorable quote. Good business is good for everyone. If it's not good for everyone, it's not good business. And that's sort of how doTERRA really um, is in the same line. They have a good business model. They have a good business. They're running and it's good for everyone. The people that benefit um, the, the philanthropic work as well as us and it's good. So it's just a really, um, really great time there. So, so can I tell you why he talks about coffee? Yeah, he owns a company. Yeah, I said he has his own. Yeah. His um, father. So, so the next thing is Operation Underground Railroad and I'm gonna go a little faster here, but um, I don't know if you guys saw, and then you can go on YouTube. Um, Pittsburgh Steelers, they announced that, this, um, that they, the coach, um, his name just went out of my head, coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Mike Tomlin. Mike Tomlin. See, we're fans. I should know this. Uh, oh, so sorry. Um, anyway, he actually went on Underground Railroad with this. But um, I have little ears here. I'm not going to talk too much about this. But I would um, gather that you want to look. There's there's amazing results what they're doing with this. And I think someone on our team is going to talk about this, but I don't want to. Let's go to the next slide a little bit. So what they're doing is when they, what doTERRA is one of the big sponsors for this. And so we've helped with like all kinds of things, a, pet, a dog that would go and help find these kids, um, helping with afterwards, you know, what happens if these kids are freed? How can they help them? And so one of the things they've done in Haiti is they're forming this raft the house. Um, and so basically, um, they're helping to be building this house for, for rehabilitation. It's beautiful, and it's um, and they're really trying to bring healing to these kids. Um, they also donated five million dollars to the Huntsman Cancer Institute, um, and so they a women's cancer screening um, area, women's cancer. And so this was pretty big deal that that happened. I'm sorry, I'm going to rush through a little bit just so this I can. This was so that the Huntsman Institute can create a whole nother building of women's cancer research. Oh, okay. So they're really, yeah, being a pioneer. So that was the basics of the whole thing. So this woman right here, Jessica Herzog, she's a pediatrician, family practitioner, went to University of Maryland. I met her at a conference um, in April called Pure Oil Couple Retreat. It's an, um, the new one is coming out. It's going to be in March if you want to come. She speaks every year. Um, and she is a, a physician and she is just over the Pennsylvania line and she will see uh, clients. She offered to see me. Now I went and looked at the website. It is out of pocket, but it covers all kinds of testing. So if you have some health needs, she, you are able to make an appointment with her yourself, just to let you know she's at a private practice just over the Pennsylvania line. But anyway, getting back to the medical advisory board. So they have at, this is a, this is a dermatologist. He's a emergency medicine, your ENT, OBGYN, pediatrician, anesthesiologist orthopedic surgeon. So they all have been giving really helpful to be as well as the health clinic, but also um, giving, writing articles and doing research and um, helping develop the skincare line, the dermatologist um, help with that. So they're all being a part of the doTERRA community. They love doTERRA. Um, moving on. Sorry about that. So this is something I'd like, if, if Janice wants to share something, she can. Do you want to share anything, Janice, or would you like me to read? Um. Roseman University. So just, just, you know, having, being able to hear the scientific explanation as to how and why oils work at the chemical level, it was very, very, um, it was very well done. And it, it was very, um, it, you know, it always provides a deeper level of credibility when you talk to people, not that you have to go into gory details about what happens and how it happens. So here they had um, a team of scientists who 
actually did experiment using um, this process called proteonomics. So they try to replicate, actually compare the doTERRA oils with competitor oils to see what they do when they run a test through these oils. So just without going into all these um, gory details, the outcome was that doTERRA far in terms of the, um, the performance, what it can potentially do when they replicated whatever was in each bottle, at the end of the day, as a result of running all these experiments, they found out all those benefits. For example, copa yuba oil, I think they did a testing and it said it, it's that. So it upregulates one of the things, pathways called phosphorylation, which is directly linked to cell, cellular health. So it upregulates that, meaning that it is beneficial for your cellular health. And along with all these other um, benefits, this just goes into all these um, pathways, apoptosis, which means uh, death of cells, um, cells that are not no, no longer good and needed in the body. Pretty much the bottom line is it kills the bad cells and it upregulates good cells. So what is outcome of those two events? You know? Um, so, and then they try to, uh, I think, I, I forget what was other oil, but they did copaiba, they did ginger, and there was another oil that they studied. This is pink pepper right here. So there were, the, the result was not only seen in one oil, it just was, they repeatedly saw the same kind of results with doTERRA oils. Again, going back to it being not adulterated, it is really what it is. Whatever you see a label on a bottle, that's what you see. And you pay for that good quality oil. And on the other hand, the oils from other competitors, when they ran them through the same testing, they didn't see the same result. Meaning, or there were other um, tests, when they did testing, some other oils from other competitors actually had opposite um, results, meaning that it didn't do the, the positive, it didn't have positive impact, it had negative impact. Mm -hmm. so it just, these, these were done, I mean, when they went into all the details, it was kind of like technical, but it was, it was exciting for me to really see that. And I think there were a lot of healthcare people in the crowd. So you could really see, I mean, the, um, the graph with all the colors that's in the middle of the, the slide, mm -hmm. that's just comparing all the results, like the red and um, all those different colors. Pretty much it points to the fact that doTERRA oils are doing what they're supposed to do. That was the bottom line. And that was, this is just done in the lab, right? So if it can do in the lab, just imagine what it can do in vivo, in your body. So if it's doing its job outside, when you run through all these, you know, chemical reactions, it's doing, your chance is high, it, the chance is high that it's doing the same thing inside your body. So that's pretty much was like a big, big piece of science that, you know, was very exciting to hear, and a lot of people walked away feeling great um, being doTERRA users. Yeah. So, thank you for sharing that. Thanks for breaking that down because I know that was not easy. Um, that was a lot of science. I think some people who may not have heard it, but those who are chemists or working in the labs are really impressed with the scientific, you know, the testing levels that they were doing. So, thank you. All right, so we're near the end. Um, I'm sad to say we're near the end. So. Um, did anyone else who might want to say anything else? I just want to say um, we built doTERRA on quality, integrity, underlying the ethos of giving back. So that is really sort of what they've based it on. Um, when they started their company, they wanted to be different by the quality, um, the integrity, um, and then the idea of not just doing some nice things on the side, but this, we have a better quality oil because we lift up the entire community. They're paid throughout the whole process. And so the people work harder and they don't have to rush the 
too quickly for harvesting. So it's a better product also for us, but also we are giving back. It's a wonderful uh, philanthropic view of a humanitarian way that is still a great way to run a business. And so um, that doTERRA was even applauded for that. At the, you can go look it up. I have a link to for the, at the UN as a company that was really getting it right with uh, good business and good ethics. So. Uh, the next thing is one thing is exciting. It used to be 87% last year, um, I think, or 86% as far as our proprietary. So now we are 96% exclusive. So no one else has oils like doTERRA. So other people may say, oh, we have oils, they're just the same. Well, 96%, and there's a slide that we don't have here that in the, um, I'll be sharing a power, um, a Google Drive with all the slides. You can go look at the slide that shows you which oil is our exclusive one if you would like to. So that's really exciting. And then one thing, does anyone want to explain the meaning behind this? Well, Nicole Stevens was talking and she said that we don't have the luxury of being part-time pioneers. That's what Dr. Hill said. She said she is, we should be immovable and have confidence and that she is a full-time pioneer with Duterra because as a pioneer, she is leading the way in new testing techniques and new oils. Yes, thank you so much. Um, so what, what, before I, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the choices. This is the dream, this has all the products in here. It's, you can, you can actually buy it right on your loyalty rewards. Last year they kind of did it unofficially, this year they're really officially saying it. It's $230, limit of two, 200 PV. So, um, and it comes with that 15 ml Yaro, not the 30 ml, just so you know. The next thing is, is there is a special that's called the DC Beltway Special, the 495, 695 Beltway Special. Do you guys know about this special? It's called Not to Have Road Rage. Oh, it's called oh, Drive Happy. Drive Happy is the name. Sorry, do you see the Drive Happy? <laughs> This is, they did it just for the Washington DC area. So this is a beautiful diffuser that they sold last year. Um, and so this is a, it fits in your cup holder filled with water. You plug it in. You can also plug it into your computer. So it's great for college students or people at offices too. Um, and it has three oils. One that we've never had before, Clementine as a single, then Kumquat, which I've been hoarding one drop at a time in my water. It is the best. Who loves Kumquat in their water? Hi, Leela, you're here. Unmute your, who loves, you guys love kumquat, it's so good. And then red mandarin is lovely too. Um, I just, it's, kumquat, I just is the star that I've been like, no one drinks the kumquat, unless they talk to me. <laughs> so now you get that for free and I can be a little more generous, um, but you get it for free. And so that's a great thing. Now, if you order it, one more slide here, if you order it by the 15th of the month, which is now, you also get a free bottle of lemon. Um, that's our free product of the month. So if anyone's watching this later, if you order 125 PV before the 15th of the month on the loyalty rewards program, they reward you with a free oil. Um, and so this month it's lemon. So let's look at the kit. The kit actually adds up to being 331 wholesale and 25 cents, but it's gonna be 230 is what they're charging. Um, then the October promotion, apparently with the lemon product of the month free is usually $100, you're getting that, you don't pay for that, that's free, you're getting all this. But if you're on the loyalty rewards program, in case you're not aware, you actually get a percentage back on, um, on your orders when you spend at least 50 PV. So if you're brand new, you're gonna get 10% back. So there's like $20 to spend later. But if you would like, if you're up to every quarter, if you spend a 50 PV, um, even if it takes you two years, so you know, 50 PV, every three months you hit 50 PV for three months, you move up to the next um, um, re refund back or rewards back. So up to 30% back. So I would get $60 free. I mean, that's crazy. That's lovely. Um, two bottles of Serenity. Um, I can buy some vitamins. I mean, well, I can buy some other oils. What could I buy with that? Lots of things. So um, I just want to encourage you that that's a great way. So yes, it's cost cost $230 for all of this, but then um, you're also going to get up to $60 back to use again later on. So it's a really great deal. And people can enroll with this kit. So I want to encourage you, if you have friends and family that think that have have kids or they have um they have bo so not asian women <laughs> <laughs> for everybody else 
could use a deodorant that works, okay? Um, but like pain, you know, they, they brush their teeth. They probably like the mouthwash. Like this is a great kit even to start out with, especially if they have kids, because they get, at least get their kids blind. Um, and they get six, you know, ten, twenty dollars $20 left to try something else. Well, they can't, I'm sorry, it cannot be on LRP. When you enroll, you can't do an LRP order until the next month. So, but that being said, they can spend two thirty plus $5 wholesale membership fee. So for $265, they can get all of that. They won't get lemon and they won't get the points back, but it's a great deal with that car diffuser and those three oils. Um, it's going to be really lovely. So that's something if you know someone might be interested in oil, that's a great idea too. Um, last thing is if we, I don't have a slide for this, but we are going to um, let you know that on October 22nd, I'm going to be doing a, a cleanse for doTERRA's cleanse. Um, and if you are interested in doing it with me, I wanna like, we can do it in our group, but I decided not to do a separate big, big push, but I'm gonna be doing the cleanse. It's gonna end before Thanksgiving, October 22nd to November 18th. I'll have it in the group. I'll have all the information and I'll do a Facebook live to announce what that is um, next week. But I don't want you guys to feel like, so if you are a regular member and you've kind of done a cleanse, you, you just feel free to comment in the Facebook group, what is the cleanse, what do I need to get, and we'll help you. But you could look at the Cleanse and Restore Kit online and just anything in there would count. You could buy any of that on your LRP if you'd like to do that and join me October 22nd. Um, it's gonna be great. I just feel my gut health, my IBS symptoms go away. Ooh, that wasn't compliant. My, I, my, I get support in my uh, intestinal tract when yeah. I do the cleanse. And my doctor and my gastroenterologist said, go ahead, do the cleanse. Go, go back to it. Um, I stopped because I had, our, okay, I'm telling you all my stuff. And this might go on YouTube. So I had a little hernia, you know, when the women have that diastasis hernia. And I had some pain when I did the cleanse and I wasn't sure. So I'd stop doing it and talk to my doctor. They said, you're fine. Gastroenterologist, you're fine. Do your cleanse. And so I'm really excited because I'm on a low FODMAPS diet. So I'm looking forward to not doing that anymore. Um, or hopefully when I do the cleanse. So any other questions anyone has? Um, oh, one more thing. If you are interested in really deep diving with oils or like Martha, you might have a good collection of oils. You don't know how to get the best benefit. I want to encourage you um, on October 27th. Is that the right? In New York City, we are going to go, some of us are going up to New York City for a special training called Symphony of the Cells. Um, do you want to say anything about that really quickly? Um, and it's, we, it's not officially doTERRA but it's all doTERRA oils and you're going to learn so much it's an all-day event you're really going to learn so much about your oils you're going to learn how to use them and it's very easy to do it is not complicated like sometimes the aroma touch there's a lot of steps to that it's nothing like that literally i can my kids can do it four circles up my spine certain set of oils but um this is it it's in new york city october 27th it, you can see the cost here um we'll probably take the bus um, and it lasts, if you are a massage technique, uh, you, get, you get six CE credits for the um, national, I don't know what that stands for, um, some sort of accrediting agency. And so you can get six credits. It's from 10 to five. Um, and we're going to, we'll, it'll be the whole day. Um, it'll be a lot of fun. But you, people who said this, I'm talking people who are really advanced oilers, their minds are blown. They are like, I can't believe it. They just have a new profound of understanding of their oils in a much greater way. And they also are using their oils in their family and seeing a great response. So um, just want, there is a refund up to seven days before. So it's, if you guys are interested um, through October 13th, it's a lower rate. Oh boy, we really need to get on the ball. That's in three more days. I didn't know that. Um, you get a booklet and a book body system that honestly, I've never been to the training, but I open up the booklet and I just use that. I just literally, you can open up a booklet, look at what your issues are, look at the oils, get the oils out. And then I just use it with my kids with coconut oil and we do it. I've been doing it for the last month and a half and we love it. So, and I love it when the kids do it to me. So it's not complicated to do it, but why it takes so long is they give you a lot of good research and not just research, good information that you can apply. Okay. Does that sound good? Did I give a good basis for that? So that's, um, that's it. We have no other announcements for us at this time, but any other questions? I'm going to, everyone unmute yourself and talk. So everyone on mute. I want to hear everyone on mute. Fran, Krista, Joyce, everyone, any questions you guys have? What did you guys think? Oh, come on, friends. Hi. Did I unmute? Yes, Fran, hi. Oh. <laughs> hi. Fran, hi. <laughs> Fran, 
and tell us what did you did you learn anything? Any questions, Krista? Any questions, Joyce, Britt, Martha? This is Krista. I just enjoyed listening to everything and um, and just excited about the oils. Of course, I want the whole thing, and I I will get it eventually. But it's just nice to to learn more of um, what they can do. Yes. Oh, Chris, I'm so glad. They are releasing it individually, like in sections. So some things you can get now individually. Um, and some things will come out in November or December as the product is available. Also, the they're doing these post-convention tours all around the country. So if you have friends and family all around in Canada, the U.S., Puerto Rico, they can go for free and hear some highlights of the science. And they also give away a couple of free convention kit um, one at a time. They give away all the, they break it down and have giveaways. But if you have anyone that wants to go at something too but second of all they go through november i'm hoping they have enough kits through november i cannot promise that i really can't because they apparently sold what they thought would be the they, what they sold for like it's the entire time last year they did it in the first week this was available they sold it all like what they did last year in over two months they did it in one week hence why the thing just fell apart it's crazy us oilers are crazy we break the doTERRA system every time so I can't make any promise it'll be around in November, but just know there you can get these all in your loyalty rewards at different times. So work whatever works for your budget. Okay. All right, Joyce, Fran, Leela, any questions, any comments? What did you guys think? He did a great job. It was good. Thank you. Well, and this you don't the our I'm gonna go ahead and stop our recording. How do I do that? Stop. Okay. So I'm gonna stop it.